Hello, everybody. Welcome to Broadway.com's Live at Five. It is Friday. Yes, it's Friday. Friday. It's November 1st, or All Saints Day. I'm Beth Stevens. I'm Andy Lefkowitz. And we are here in the studio with Caitlin Moynihan. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> we have... Yes, guys. Big a star. very important person here today. Really, we have Bradley Gibson here from The Lion King. Yes, we do. Yes, celebrating the yes, 25th anniversary of Disney on Broadway. It's a big concert on yes. Monday, and we're going to talk about that. But first, our top five. We found out who else is going to be suiting up in this Broadway revival. Good one, Caitlin. Thank yes, you. I like that. So <laughs> we found out today that Suits star Patrick J. Adams is going to make his Broadway debut this spring as Kippy in the revival of the Tony winning play Take Me Out. Love this play. Um, as you all know, this or you might not know, this is a play about a major league baseball player who comes out of the closet. Uh, it won the Tony in 2003 for best play. Uh, Patrick J. Adams, well, Kippy is like the, the lead character's best friend. Uh, Darren Lemming's best friend, who will be played by uh, Jesse Williams. Uh, the cast, as we know, will also include Jesse Tyler Ferguson as Mason Marzak. The production kicks off performances on March 31st at the Helen Hayes Theater. I love this play. Yes. That's good casting, too. Yes. And it save the date for um, the minutes. It's coming. It's happening. We got a classy email today that said the yes. minutes. It didn't say the minutes are coming. It says right. the minutes is coming because yes. the minutes is a play by Tracy Letts, Ooh. and it is actually coming to Broadway Ooh. in the spring. So here's what we know, not much. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, Tracy Letts already had a play on Broadway this season with Linda Vista mm -hmm. at Second Stage, and um, now it, he will have his play, The Minutes, have its first preview date on February 25th, 2020, and it, we don't have an opening night. We don't. We don't have an opening night. We have a director, Anna De Shapiro whose husband, Ian Barford, is the star of Linda Vista. Yes. See it all, all these Chicago people. They all come around together. And it is a transfer from the Steppenwolf Theater Company. It's a comedy, but a Tracy Letts comedy. So, Pulitzer you know. finalist. Pulitzer finalist. Yeah. The Minutes refracts the current state of America's politics through a town meeting in the very small fictional city of, ready? Big Cherry. Ooh. I'm here for Big Cherry <laughs> in February. As we have more information, we will let you know. And this news is continuing our long-running joke that Netflix is obsessed with Broadway. Yes, so guys. Obsessed with us. <laughs> so Tony obsessed. nominee Ariana DeBose, whom we adore, has yes. been cast as Alyssa Green in the prom film. Yes. So excited about this film. She's going to uh, appear alongside a ridiculously talented cast of folks who we know Meryl Streep, James Corden, Andrew Rannells, Nicole Kidman, Aquafina. Keegan-Michael Key, and Kerry Washington. Uh, this film, which is being produced by Ryan Murphy, uh, will appear in the fall of 2020 via Netflix. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Of course, Ariana DeBose yeah. also is playing yes. Anita in yes. the West Side, West Side Story, Story movie. Film. She's so booked and busy. Working. She's going to blow up, but we knew her when because she's done two Broadway.com vlogs. Oh True. Goodness. For A Bronx Tale and for yes. Summer. Oh, yes. Yes, and we have um, some exciting things are happening over across the pond. I did not see this coming, but the Don Mar production of City of Angels, it was done in 2014, and I actually saw it, Ooh, is going to the West End five years later. Um, Vanessa Williams will take the stage. She will make her London debut, her West End yes. debut anyway. Um, it will begin March 5th, 2020, at the Garrick Theater. And joining Vanessa Williams will be Rosalie Craig, who was playing Bobby Baby, Bobby wow. in company with Patti Lapone in the West End. That role on Broadway will be played by Katrina Lank. Her husband, Hadley Frazier, will also be in the, in the show, and he did the Don Mar production. Rebecca Treherne and reprising their turn. Oh, they're all reprising their turn. So Rebecca Treherne, Hadley Frazier, and Rosalie Craig all did it at the Don Mar, which is a small theater, and now they're going nice. to the West End. Big news. Fancy Big pants. musical. Gorgeous I musical. I love this show. Gorgeous this score. score. Is beautiful. 20 winning best musical. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Good stuff. Film noir. Ooh, Good stuff. Love it. Yes, and we found out who is going to be riding down the big parade on Thanksgiving. Yeah, we will not let the parade pass by with these oh, three folks. He loves I'm a sorry, pun. I he loves to. a pun. Billy Porter, okay. Adina Menzel, and Leah Michelle are among the first group of folks uh, announced to appear in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade this year. Um, we don't know exactly what they're going to be doing, but I certainly hope they're going to be singing. Otherwise, <laughs> why are we 
Well, Adina around, Adina has a new album, and Leah Michelle right. has. They both have Christmas albums. Billy yes. could just do like a runway walk, and I'd be yeah. okay with it. <laughs> That's you know another mean. award. And Billy Porter <laughs> and Adina are appearing in Cinderella. Yes, that is true. <gasps> wow. So we could just have a theme. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> get up at 9 a.m. and watch them uh, singing out. There's a whole bunch or of other. Or DVR it, whatever. DVR it. Um, Debbie Gibson, who was in Cabaret on Broadway and Beauty and the Beast, which was the start of Disney on Broadway, is also yes. going <gasps> to be in the wow. parade. Um, and then we'll have announcement, uh, announcements of the shows that are there going are, to um, Broadway shows always participate. Soon. That's yeah. what makes it Last so fun. Last year, The Prom broke ground with the first yes. uh, same-sex same sex female kiss, kiss on, on the parade. parade. Yeah. That's right. So. Awesome. All right, well, we have a few more things for you to check yeah. out. We have a new Gotta Dance from Erica Hunter of Moulin Rouge. Mm -hmm. She kind of fell into this job. I don't know. And then she Her just kept crazy. succeeding. She yeah. just kept winning. <laughs> Hashtag winning. Erica Hunter, check that out. It's really amazing. We also have what's closing on Broadway in November and what you should look out for and what our, our staff wants you to save the date for. Mm -hmm. And Miss Caitlin Moynihan hung out with Kristen Chenoweth. I did. Who's I coming to Broadway that. with a concert it was the for best the girls. How was it? For it the was, girls. You were one of the oh girls. Oh my gosh. I was one of the girls. Mm -hmm. And there was definitely, we made eye contact when she was singing. And I felt, and I was just like, we're in it together. She did it's, it for you. She, I'm a girl and she did it for me. So thank yes. you. 100%. Andy, <laughs> have you a go. great weekend. Yeah, you enjoy your weekend. We're about to welcome Bradley Gibson from The Lion King. Caitlin, tell yes. us about our guest, please. Gladly. Yes, we got Mr. Bradley Gibson here with us in the studio. As Beth said, he is currently in The Lion King. He plays the King of Pride Walk himself. He plays Simba. And he's going to be performing in the upcoming concert celebrating 25 magical years of Disney on Broadway. Kelly Disney's been around for 25 years on Broadway. Wild. You also may have known him when he was in A Bronx Tale or Rocky. We've done character studies. We've done... He's been here for clubbroadway.com. He's done, we love him. He was here earlier this year. We love this guy. Follow him on social media at Brad Gibson 13 Leave all of your questions in the comments below. And everyone, please welcome Bradley and Beth. Thank you, Caitlin. Welcome. Oh. Now you do have a little alpha book going on, as yeah, I said. Yeah, it's my alpha book. <laughs> a, little, a little bit of an alpha book moment. My next but, role. But that is, maybe your next role, but your current role is Simba. Yeah. The pride of Pride Rock. Now. You are Bradley Gibson when you're on the Broadway, but you are Brad Gibson yes. when you're in the music scene. Yes, yes. And you have a new single out. Yes, what if we? What if we, hashtag what if we. That's amazing. You must yeah, be having thanks. quite a couple of last weeks. Like, yeah, it just came out, right? It's fun. It kind of like, I feel like a week ago it came out, and yeah. now a week later I'm kind of still getting like great feedback, and people are listening to it and sending me you're videos Brad. of them dancing. Yeah, I'm more Brad. Casual. A little more casual, right? A little gonna, more fun. We're going to so call you Brad. Yeah. Okay. Unless I we're like talking it. about unless we're specifically talking about the Lion King, then we'll call you Bradley. Oh, I love it. Or just Mr. Gibson. Change it up. I don't know. Whatever you <laughs> want. Mr. Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure something out. <clears throat> all right. Now, last time you were here, we talked all things Lion King. Mm -hmm. But now we have some other things to discuss. Yes. Besides hashtag what if we What if we What if we played a game? Okay. Okay. Let's do it. So let's just explain what's going on. Disney is celebrating twenty five years on Broadway mm -hmm. with a big star-studded event at the New Amsterdam Theater. It's major. On Monday, November major. 4th. Major. I'm waiting for my invitation. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not upset. I'm not upset. You're going to be, I'm just going to read some of the names. So okay. you, maybe you'll, you'll know some of these people. Jelani Aladdin, <laughs> Heidi Blickenstaff, Sierra Bogus, Christian Borle, Ashley Brown, Carrie Butler. I mean, this is a major list. Yes. Some, of, some people who originated roles, Susan Egan, for example, Beauty and the Beast. Oh my so. gosh. <laughs> we had to the <laughs> room stopped. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. So you're going to you're going to get to see all these folks. Yeah. So I'm not going to test you on the Disney cuz that's you know no, that's too much. But that's I want to ask some of your favorite things. Okay. Cuz you said you're self-proclaimed Disney kid. Disney kid. Full out. And you're the star of a Disney blockbuster yeah. on Broadway. Yeah. Love that. I love that. Guys, watch watch Brad Bradley. We're going to have a Lanky. Bradley's Brad. Character study on Broadway.com yes. to really dig in and see how he gets into character. Yes. So good. Okay. Your favorite Disney princess. Oh, by the way, you can't just give me all the Lion King stuff. That's not fair. Okay, well, no, no Lion King <laughs> answers I mean, will be. Alive. I mean, not, not none, but like, give me. You can give me that, Minimum. but then you'll have to give me another no. one then. Okay. okay. <laughs> Disney princess. Um, I'm gonna say Belle. Oh, I, I classic. When, you, when I said Susan Egan and the world stopped, <laughs> we had a thought. By the way, I know you guys have questions, so please. It's true. We'll, uh, we'll get to that. Just hold on a second. If you could play any Disney villain, which would it be? Mm. Mm, I'm going to say Jafar. Oh, 
It'd solid, be cool. Solid answer. The costume's solid cool, answer. right? Very good. Jafar from Aladdin. Uh, favorite Disney sidekick? There are a lot of them. Flounder. Ooh, good one. Isn't that a good one? Mm-hmm. Caitlin's having reactions. I'm sorry, having I'm thoughts. loving this. No, I love it. I love it. Okay. What's your favorite ride at Disney World? Ooh, Space Mountain. That's a classic response. Wrote it five times, eighth grade. <laughs> How Choir many times have you trip. been? To Disney? Once. Um, no, actually. There's some people that need to hook twice, you up. Twice, twice, twice. But one, the second time I didn't go to the parks was with my family for Christmas. All the kids went to the park. I was... You were what? Too cool. I was, I you know, you were, you too were, cool. You were making music by yourself. Yeah. Too cool. <laughs> too cool. Too cool no. for it. As an eighth grader, too cool? <laughs> right. That's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing better than so a 14-year-old is too cool. All right. Favorite Disney snack? They give a lot of, there are a lot of snacks at Disney World. Do you have a favorite? Mm, I like just Epcot. All the different snacks There's from so around many. the world, mm. the different food and drinks and whatnot. I love You that. like an international snack. Yeah, yeah. I understand. If you could have voiced any character in a Disney movie, which would you have? Which would be the one? Ooh. I really, mm, I'm gonna say Hercules. Wow. It's just th- that music is so beautiful. It is. Or Aladdin because that's also one of my favorites. I, I'm sensing that. I'm getting <laughs> a sense. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. If you could have a job at a Disney park, what would it be? Not entertainer, obviously. That's hmm. too easy. Oh, that's too easy. I feel like I, you know what? I want to be a VIP like tour guide yeah. with the celebrities. Mm, deal with the one percent. When I was there in eighth grade, Puff Daddy was there with his family, and wow. they had a VIP tour guide. They skipped all the lines. They mm. had all like his kids all like the free, you know, snack. Maybe not free <laughs> 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 snacks well, and know. gifts <laughs> and stuff. I want to be a VIP tour guide. Meet all the people. Yeah, meet I all love the people. That. I like it. Okay, who are you most excited to hear perform at the concert on Monday? You want to look at the list? I'm, I'm let me see. Let me see. Um, I'm going to say, you know what, Gavin Creel. Every time I'm that around happens. Gavin Creel, I fan out. That voice is <laughs> butter, y'all. It's butter. <laughs> it's butter, man. Ugh. Yeah, Gavin Creel. Just to sit back and get listen. the tingles. Yeah, definitely. I love that. Okay. Which. So they're going to sing a lot of Disney songs on Monday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which song are you not going to be able to hold yourself back from singing along with? Probably um, the Muses from Hercules, oh, right? Zero so to good. Hero, all that stuff. It's so good. It was so good in the park, too. And those women are coming back. That's mm-hmm. going to be a really cool moment. Just okay, so. last question. Then we'll go to your questions. <laughs> if you are miscast in a Disney, like maybe a female role or a role that's too old or young for you or just okay. wrong, okay. but still awesome. Which role should you play, but wrong, in a Disney <laughs> okay. show? So I'm not going to play it, but I would play it. Mm-hmm. If, I mean, if you feel me, like if you see what I'm I, saying. Okay, I'm trying be. to think of something where it's like, you would never be cast in this role, but if you were, man, that would be amazing. Let's say Jasmine, right? <laughs> well, you have the abs. I'm just saying. Come on. Like, <laughs> give me a wig. Throw me a wig, y'all. <laughs> 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 so we got Jafar and Jasmine. A one-man show. <laughs> one-man Aladdin coming at you from Simba. <laughs> that's what we Ooh, need. Oh, that's weird. But it I could love be fun. it. But they're like your cousins yeah. on Broadway. Disney cousins, yeah. 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 All right, we're going to take your question. Yeah, <laughs> I know you have a lot of them. It is. Okay, so I love this question. Alec wants to know, how does it feel to be able to be part of the Disney on Broadway family during this big like 25th anniversary celebration as a Disney kid fan? Yeah, it's so special. Lion King was my first show. So getting a chance to do that alone is really crazy. Mm-hmm. But getting a chance to be in this concert and stand up there with all the people that I watched on stage as a kid, also people that I admire, singing these songs that I love, it's going to be a really beautiful night. So it's, it's so exciting. I have to like calm myself down before Monday. <laughs> right. <laughs> Get it together. Well, it's I interesting love. because so many Disney shows are people's first show. Yeah. Or kids, not just kids, but it's, it's appealing to a wider variety of people. Mm-hmm. You must get that a lot at the stage door. Oh, all the time. People. people that have brought their kids who love the movie. And it's, you know, generation to generation now. Absolutely. I love that. So Marianne said that watching your, your character study, you seem to be super calm and poised getting ready. How do you get into the headspace as becoming Simba? I, what you don't see in that character study is when I'm in the wing, like getting ready to jump off the rope, mm. I'm like getting amped up because mm. I have to match the energy of the little boy who plays young Simba. Mm-hmm. So um, definitely just a lot of like hyping myself up. I did Rocky mm-hmm. on Broadway, so I'm yeah, like, there you, go. you know, sparring, ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Sparring in the wings. 
With yourself. With myself. Just yeah, with a little myself. shadow boxing. I like it. Okay, go actually going off of that question, Mark wants to know, based on being in The Lion King and Rocky, would you rather actually go into the boxing ring and have to fight someone or would you want to be locked in an animal cage with a lion? What? Mm. What kind of question is this? I, oh, the only wow. options? You want me to get hurt, pretty much. Um, I'm How gonna would you s- like to die? Yeah, right? <laughs> Give me a week of boxing training again, <laughs> and I'll try week. to box. Just one. a week to just get my week? get it back you together. You can have a year. I mean, if yeah. you want. Okay, oh, just a week. <laughs> a, a week. Give me a week of training. I can go back in the ring. All right. He practices in the wings every night. <laughs> uh, he's ready. He's ready. <laughs> He's ready. Okay, and this question kind of goes off Beth's question, but if you could live the life of a Disney character for a day, like if you could like get everything that they do, or just any live, Disney character, any Disney character, any Disney character, like, living the life. Whose life would you want? I mean, they all kind of have a little bit of little issue bit. going on. <laughs> in their life. That, that, but, that's why there's drama. Yeah. But I would say someone who's maybe royal, like. Oh, like Elsa? a Jasmine, like oh. an Elsa. <laughs> we keep going back to Jasmine because it's really a dream role, guys. <laughs> Let's make it happen. Um, yeah, someone royal, There's Elsa. Maybe Jasmine. you should just switch places with one Disney character on Broadway. Cool. Just it would a week. Be, okay, you could have a run. Just a week. I don't know. A six a months. Six That's fine. Let's do a six <laughs> month Let's do run. Six months. To switch it up. Disney yes. cousin trade off. Mm. I think you're cool. onto something here. So Ariel Jacobs will be playing Simba. <laughs> <laughs> Not awkward. That voice, though, she would kill <laughs> she it, though. It. Endless Night, I want to hear that. Sing it. Fine yeah. by me. Switch. And you can switch dressing rooms. Perfect. Although, I don't know, that might, she might have to go to the chiropractor, because that had... It's a little heavy sometimes, a little heavy. right? Just slight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. Okay, so Laura says, I just want to say, I just want to tell you that I love your single. It's been on repeat all week. Oh, How does it you. feel to be able to have your own music out while you're also involved in this Broadway yes. world? What was that experience like for you? Oh, it really makes my work at night on Broadway, I think, um, more full. Mm. Mm. Right, being artistically fulfilled on the side, doing my own work yeah. and putting myself out there in that way, it's really vulnerable but so fulfilling. And um, there's more music coming in 2020. Yes, <gasps> a lot more music coming Give and us some the visuals. For the song, what if we? Where did it come from? What if we is about, you know, it was for myself. What happens if I get out of my own way and stop questioning myself and what I want and just go for it? So yes. whether it be, you know, interpret it as you will. Whether it be that that job, that that person you're attracted to anything right like what if we just did it and you get to have a different name in case you didn't want brad, to hear gibson. Earlier. brad gibson, <laughs> brad gibson. Expert. but you really get to explore a different sound than what you're doing on broadway yeah definitely i i learned so much about the microphone right and how different levels and sounds and i'm so used to singing like a broadway performer i'm trained in that way mm-hmm. really so um it's been fun and it's you know so many different qualities to my voice that I'm discovering. I get to know different aspects of you. Yes. Aww, love so that. good. Okay, so Jake wants to know what has playing Simba this for this many times and like coming be able to come back to the character. What has the character itself, what has he taught you? Like as a person, have you taken anything you've learned playing him into like your real life? We're going yeah. back to Bradley now. Oh Bradley. yes, Bra- yes Bradley. No, it's Bradley. Bradley. Not Brad. <laughs> um, Simba's taught me so much because he is he's dealing with a lot in the show, right? He's mm. healing from a, a great tragedy that's happened mm-hmm. in his life that he's hiding. So if anything he's taught me, it's not to hide the pain or not to hide the issues, but deal with them in a healthy manner so you can become a more evolved person. Do you mentor young Simba backstage? A little know, bit? A little bit? Uh, I try to talk <laughs> to them, but those kids, man, they have so much energy. We'll finish the show, and I'm sweating, like tired. I always say to them, I'm like, it's time to go home. And they're like, no, no. They're, they're amped, amped up. up, right? So <laughs> I, I definitely learn a lot from them, too. But I try to I try to be a good big bro. I don't know if you should ever be in a boxing ring with them, though. They sound like they have too <laughs> they're ready to <laughs> jump me. And there's two of them, too. So right, of two against like one. like a jungle gym. <laughs> that is so fun. Oh, I like this question a lot. So Aaron says, what has been the most, have you had a recent moment where you've kind of, like, had a moment where you're like, holy moly, like, I'm on Broadway. I'm doing that. Oh, have yeah, you had that? To pinch me moment recently or uh, yeah I have them all the time last week I looked out in the front row and there was a little black boy his you know he was so small his feet didn't even touch the floor he had a little Simba stuffed animal Aww. and he was just laughing so loud and having such a good time and after the show I was leaving and I was actually behind him and his mom and he said to his mom he said mom I'm so happy aren't you happy She's like, I'm happy too. Are you tired? It's 11 o'clock. He's like, no, I'm so happy. (laughs) And I I just kind of thought about how I always dreamed about being on Broadway Mm -hmm. and dreamed about being in a show. I didn't know it was going to be The Lion King or any of the shows I've done, but Mm -hmm. a show that brings me so much joy and I see it bringing so many other people and children so much joy. It just, yeah, 
it's a blessing every single day. How old were you when you saw The Lion King? I was in high school. Oh, okay. My first Broadway show. Your first Broadway show? Well, but my first movie in the movie theater when I was about five with my was mom. Was also The Lion King. Yeah. This is destiny. Yeah, it really is, right? It's amazing. I'm getting the chills. I'm getting yeah. the chills. All right, we have it's time for really one more crazy. question. Yeah, this is the last question. This is actually the question you've gotten the most of. Elise mm. wants to know, what Disney movie that has not become a musical yet do you want to become a musical? Mm. And yes, you can star in it. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Mm. Oh, yeah. We're going to give you the role, whatever it is. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I don't know if it can happen, but remember Oliver and Company? That music, okay, yes, guys. that music, the music is, so, is so good. Especially the one where they're all the cars. Why and should I worry? Why should I care? Come on. You remember that? Yeah, oh, it was so yeah, good. I don't know how they would do it, but I think it'd be really cool. Maybe a concert, something. You could be the know. cat and wear the li your Lion King costume. Perfect. We have half of the costume. We have half the costume. Go. Ready Animals. Ready, Disney. Well, I think you might know <laughs> one or two people at Disney. <laughs> Maybe send you could some get. Emails? Yeah, maybe send, a, send an email. <laughs> I got an idea, you guys. Maybe a last minute slot on Monday. Right. <laughs> you never know. An encore performance. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Yes. You guys, get this man single. Yes. Oh, please. What if we? What if we? See The Lion King on Broadway again. I know you already saw it because everyone come back. in the world has seen it because it's hit like a billion people or something. Yeah. Is that right? Doesn't matter. See it again. Bring your children, and celebrate. 25 years of Disney on Broadway. Monday night, it's Monday happening. Monday night at the New Amsterdam Theater. And that's where Broadway cares. Yes. So it's a, only it's a, a few tickets left. Only a few tickets left to this charity performance, but, you know, we're just going to have to see if they ever film it or anything. I don't know if they are. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> we don't know. Special night. Put it out there. But anyway, the if not, we're going to bring you back here and you can tell us all about it. Oh, or maybe just reenact it. <gasps> I don't know. Great uh, idea. Obviously, play all the parts. Yeah, yeah, Great yeah. Great idea. Look for Bradley Gibson. In Aladdin for six months, sometime soon. <laughs> Playing Princess Jasmine. <laughs> Playing Princess Jasmine. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Dreams come true on Live at Five. <laughs> anyway, Bradley, thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. And have me. a wonderful time on Monday. Thank you. And all those people. Caitlin, will you take us on out, please? Gladly. Yes, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at 5 every single weekday here on Facebook. You can listen to us where we get your podcast by searching for hashtag live at 5 and hitting that subscribe button. Have a great weekend. Be sure you tune in next week. We talk to a bunch of your favorite people like Leslie Odom Jr. We're going to talk to Conrad Rickamore. We're going to talk to everybody. Be sure to tune in and have a great weekend.